Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN interview goes wrong as deported illegals wife Rex media narrative. The liberal media has exploited every possible opportunity to smear President Donald Trump as being a bigoted anti-immigrant racist, and generally has little trouble finding outraged liberals to interview who will parrot that narrative for them on air. One such case the media has sought to exploit against Trump is that of an illegal immigrant man from Detroit named Jorge Garcia who was deported to Mexico in January after living illegally in the United States for 30 years. CNN brought that man's wife, Cindy Garcia, on air for a follow-up interview recently. But if host Brooke Baldwin, who admitted she knew ahead of time that Garcia didn't hold a grudge against the government, thought the woman would trash Trump or his administration anyway for ripping their family apart, well, things didn't quite turn out like that, according to Red State. I am not upset at our government due to the fact that I am a U.S. citizen and that our laws come first, Garcia said. Our laws are just broken and need to be fixed, but I can't be mad at Trump for doing his job because that is his job to protect us as U.S. citizens from criminals," she continued. The only thing is, my husband was not a criminal, and those are the laws that need to be fixed because they're broken," Garcia said. The woman then expressed support for a middle-ground compromise solution that many Americans would likely support, one that protects illegal immigrants who have committed no additional crimes other than illegal entry while cracking down and deporting those who have committed additional criminal acts. For the people that are here, were brought as children doing the right thing and have never committed a crime, we need to fix a pathway to citizenship for them," stated Garcia. For the criminals who are here illegally, they need to go back," she added. Baldwin, who expressed her surprise at the lack of criticism toward Trump from Garcia, asked if she'd been in contact with the White House, insinuating that she'd been offered hope that the situation with her husband would be resolved in exchange for her lack of criticism. No, at this time I have not had any news from the White House," replied Garcia. She added that she was attempting to get an appointment scheduled with authorities within the next month or so for a final decision on her husband's status. All we can do is pray that everything goes well in our case because there should be nothing against us, Garcia said. The only crime that he committed was coming here at 10 years old into the country, but he was a child at that time. CNN, among other liberal media outlets, have tried to use the Garcia case as an example of the supposedly heartless manner by which the Trump administration is ripping families apart by virtue of their enforcement of existing immigration laws. But this wife of a deported illegal immigrant bucked the media narrative and bears no grudge against Trump or his administration for simply doing the jobs they are supposed to do, and instead cast blame for the unfortunate situation on the broken laws that many Americans agree are in need of reform. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.